When I was seven years old, I was gifted my first personal handheld console. I remember being so excited and thrilled that I could finally play some of the fighting, adventure, and racing games that my peers played. One day my friend commented that my favorite character to play in a fighting and adventure game looks just like me. Jonathan, what is your favorite character? I responded, I do not know because none of the characters look like me. I began to wonder why there are so many characters that incorporate animals, but not people from all cultures. I mean, imagine you were playing a game and you cannot customize a character to look like you. Imagine you cannot change the character's skin color, eye color, hair, and dialect. I can't count how many games I've played where I felt this feeling. So at age nine, I thought to myself, I want to make games and products where you can customize yourself to look the way you want. A game that adds culture, and diversity. But I soon learned that I needed help to make this thought a reality. I realized I needed a CSELC, a computer science educational opportunity connector, is a person who is able to provide opportunities and connections to the gaming industry for diverse communities. I needed help, skills, resources, and knowledge so I could begin to code and formulate apps and video games to bring my perspective to ensure that tech and gaming products incorporate important elements of culture and diversity. Today we need even more people who can provide opportunities and connections to the gaming industry for diverse communities. CSELCs serve as bridge builders and ambassadors for ensuring that all cultures have access to computer science educational resources connectors, and opportunities. For the past two years, I have collaborated with Alsex St. Jude and Co-Crew. Last year, my team with Alsex St. Jude formulated an interactive art app for patients and key stakeholders. Furthermore, I assisted Alsex St. Jude by formulating a Unity 3D software game for patients, donors, and key stakeholders. In addition, this year my team and I formulated an app entitled Walk in my shoes, raising awareness and change. My team and I won first place for the National Congressional District. Our app will be featured in Steve Cohen's weekly newsletter and displayed in the U.S. Capitol building and featured on the House of Representatives website. Though these were great experiences for me, we need more of these and even more students from diverse communities. Here are three ways you can become a CSEOC. First, believe that all individuals from all cultures can learn computer science and engineering and work towards providing computer science. According to the U.S. Census, Blacks and Hispanics are the fastest growing population in the country. However, in U.S. high schools, the Advanced Placement Exam of Computer Science has historically had only 13% of minority and ethnic groups. According to the code.org, the fields of software computing and computer science applied by stark underrepresentation by race, gender, and ethnicity. Code.org also reports that this problem extends to some university programs in the software workplace, which depicts a similar lack of diversity. Second, advocate for computer science and coordinate resources. My parents are advocates and resource coordinators. When I was nine, my parents researched and enrolled me in courses for Scratch and Cano a coding introduction course for kids of all ages. Once I completed the Scratch and Cano courses, I was captivated with coding and software development. I immediately asked my parents for coding and software development books, tools, and resources. I started to build my own video games through Scratch, Roblox, Cano, and Block Coding through my computer science exposure as a fourth grader. I soon realized that I was able to combine building, innovation, cognitive stimulation, and engineering. Lastly, encourage early exposure programs and computer science mentors. In my case, I learned computer science from Cano, University of Memphis, Cyber Program, and CoCrew, a non-for-profit agency. CoCrew provides Memphis-based programs that focus on ensuring that students are taught the principles of information and computation, how digital systems work, Co-crew students learn how to put computer science knowledge to use through programming and software development concepts. 
through developing video games, apps, and learning coding languages. Since May 2015, Code Who has taught more than 2,000 students to code through their summer camps, after-school programs, in-school electives, and special events. Of the 500 kids Code Crew serves weekly, 91% are black and Latino youth. 40% are girls who code. Overall, 89% of Code Crew students are more likely to study computer science. Once you become a CSELC, there are four major actions to complete in the computer science opportunities for diverse communities. First, advocate and ensure computer science curriculums and programs fundings are provided to schools and organizations that serve diversified populations and communities. Second, establish computer science software and engineering resources and more regions where there are underrepresented populations and diverse groups. Third, formulate community science and school programs to teach students to develop and build games, apps, STEM, and devices in ETC. And finally, computer science educational opportunity connect and forum sites and networks in your communities. Because of CSELCs in my life, I am only 14 years old and achieved so much due to positive, impactful connectors. It is my goal to ensure that educational computer science connectors and opportunities in many underserved populations, community schools, and businesses around the world. Will you join me and become a CSELC?